everyone, I'm Brock with PDQ, and this is our Patch Tuesday recap for February 2024. We got ourselves a little bit of a Valentine's Day edition here, maybe a little early, but now normally for Valentine's Day, I like chocolate. So, I mean, if any of you guys are wondering what to get me for Valentine's Day, that'd be great. But Microsoft instead decided to gift us all with a whole bunch of patches. So, I mean, at least we're getting something here. Let's go ahead and dive into the numbers and take a look at what we're getting. So this month, we're kind of uh, above where we were the last two months, we're pretty low. So this month, we're kind of like getting back up to our normal range of patches. We've got 77 total exploits patched, five of which were critical, which is a little high. And uh, we've got two that are already publicly known or exploited. So we'll take a look at some of the highlights here. We'll first look at CVE 2024-21410, okay? Uh, now, this one is a vulnerability targeting the Microsoft Exchange server. Now, this one, if a bad actor targets an NTLM client like uh, NTLM client like uh, Outlook with a credential leaking vulnerability, that could then lead to a elevation of privilege inside the Exchange server itself. This one's kind of got everything going for it with the uh, CVSS score of 9.8, a rating of critical, and a network attack vector. Um, this one's pretty bad. So unless you've already got extended protection for authentication enabled already, uh, I would get this one deployed pretty quick. Okay, now we're going to be sticking in the realm of email here for this next one. We're taking a look at CVE 2024-21413. Now this is a remote code execution vulnerability that targets Outlook. I mean, these are kind of, these are nothing new at this point, but they are all bad. So uh, and a, a successful attack here could uh, bypass the Office Protected View. So instead of opening it up in pr Protected View, it goes straight into Editing View, letting the bad actor run all of their malicious code. And the real trump card on this one is that it's also accessible in the Preview pane, which is really bad. Luckily, this one isn't publicly known yet, and it's not already out in the wild. So we still got some time. You got a little bit of time. Get your patches out there. Lastly, we're going to take a look at CVE 2024-21412. And this is last and kind of least on the list, um, but this is a security feature bypass vulnerability that targets internet shortcut files. And this one's got a network attack vector and a low complexity. And what really makes this one stand out is that one. this one is already being exploited out in the wild. Uh, luckily, this one does require user interaction. So I guess the question you got to ask yourself is, how much do you trust your users? Uh... I mean, maybe it's a good time to schedule some more training for your users just to, you know, keep them on their toes. Don't tell them I said to send it, though. Uh, so anyways, get that one patched up real quick because, like I said, that one's already exploded out in the wild. That wraps up this video. For more PDQ content, make sure to like and subscribe. If you got any questions, hit us up down in the comments down below or head over to our Discord server. For PDQ, I'm Brock. Thanks for watching.